This was such an impactful film and um, very indicative of the times. I remember that kind of 90s thing where everybody was trying to recruit into the army and Mm -hmm. promised everything, you know, riches and education and on and on and on with the backdrop of this war happening. And so we have your three characters that are either fashion Marines are trying to become Marines. I wanted to start with you, Iman, um, with Ismail being Muslim and coming into this recruiting process. What was it like to kind of access his motivations and kind of portray that on screen? Um, It was really, really uh, intimate and personal. And it was also sort of a deep dive. It It was kind of accessing parts of myself that through my childhood and through being Middle Eastern and being raised in America, 9-11 happening while I'm a child and then growing up with the repercussions of that. Um, it was a really cathartic experience and it was very, uh, very much a healing experience. Um, and then there were a lot of aspects of the character that I also wasn't familiar with. I'm not, I'm not personally Muslim and don't practice Islam, so learning that, I had a, a wonderful consultant, Arij, um, and Elegance, and, and us three kind of came to the motivations behind why Ismail would join the Marines and and why he would sort of put himself through Mm. being in that environment. And um, it really did stem from this idea that's so similar to to elegance in the sense of not really understanding your own worth or loving yourself and uh, doing whatever it took to assimilate, to sort of find a find validation from from the world outside of you and and for Ismail in particular to fit into a country he was born into but doesn't present as and um so that was definitely yeah right it's kind of a by any means necessary type of thing and then on the flip side we have Aaron who is really just trying to that your Mm -hmm. character is really just trying to provide for his family um when thinking about that background there was kind of the idea of keep your head low yeah. don't make any trouble, but then you're seeing these obvious injustices. How does your character kind of react to that? There's a bit of a challenge at times, right? Because, uh, I mean, I, I come from immigrant parents, right? So um, first generation in this country, the necessity has been very apparent, um, at least for me in my life. I come from very humble beginnings. So the within Castro's story as well, he was... Cuban from Miami, and I always say that I'm Cuban by association because I am from Miami as well. Um, so having the, yeah, so having the uh, the kind of backstory play out in that way, and then having to see like, I was thinking to myself oftentimes like, how would I, especially in a time like that, have responded to the cards that I was dealt, right? Like, what what are the stakes that I would what would what would this how high would the stakes be for me and then what would i be willing to do to provide for my family and then off and then within the film uh the castro being very much so of like i don't want to make enemies but i do i would like to fit in and i would like to be accepted so there's oftentimes in the film where castro is very much not the instigator in things, but he definitely, uh, like Amon said, he assimilates to the culture, especially mm-hmm. within the hierarchy and military, and you know, especially in, within that time in the mid two thousands. Um, yeah, it, it was very, it was a challenge for me, uh, but I can definitely see the humanism around it because once again, I, I oftentimes was dealt with the question, what would I have done? Mm-hmm. Raul, I really loved your character here because in a in kind of juxtaposition to that, he has the thing where he didn't necessarily assimilate, but is still kind of facing those repercussions. And I really enjoyed that in your performance. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank yeah, thank you guys so much for taking time to talk with me today. And yeah, thank congrats you. on the film and I thank wish you the best. Thank you.